Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back in the NBA 2K20. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, um, staying safe, finding something productive to do during all this stuff going on. We're going with some randoms. We got a 68 overall center, and then a 65 or a 95 playmaking shot. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know about these other guys, how good these other guys are. Um, but yeah, I just want to, you know, make sure every one of you guys are doing well, you know. Okay, we'll probably lose this game. Um, there, there's a two-way stretch five, a 98 overall, and these guys are, like, really, really, really high, um, you know, rep as well. So the 93 stretch four, and then all around two-way wing. So they can all shoot. So we'll see how this goes. But I just want to talk to you guys about in this video, um, what I feel like. I feel like this build right here that I have, this two-way slashing playmaker, is the one build in this game you really do not want to play against. And I actually haven't seen this build that this other guy has um that we're going up against the one i am guarding the two-way um two-way i don't even it wasn't a two-way wing um i haven't seen it that often um what i was trying to say about with this build that i have guys i just feel like the two-way slashing playmaker is one of these builds that is very very hard to stop because there's not much you can do defensively like most of the time when people play with this build they just do hop steps and then you score pretty much every time it doesn't take any skill is what I'm trying to get at. And that when people have this build, it's really, he's gonna miss that, isn't he? You can just drive by the major majority of people. The, he's gonna make that. Um, can he grab that ball, please? See, like, look, you can just dance right around the center. Like, he didn't jump, but still. It's like, you, you can just dance around people with this build. This guy's gonna try to shoot, and I'm lagging, and if he scores, I'm gonna be really upset because yeah I, I couldn't do anything there on that possession I got completely stuck on the top you could have somebody that usually plays with a center get on this build and maybe all the run with this build fine it's not that hard because you're generally not shooting most of the time slashing in this game doesn't require much skill it'd be more shooting and I know obviously if you know your jump shot you're good you're fine then it's not a problem but the only problem is this build that's what separates people that are really really good with this build and people that aren't is if you're able to shoot now um, that's the thing, like, we've done that same move twice. I just tap X, get that layup. I didn't even try to, um, get a dunk to go down or anything. I am more concerned about him shooting, like, I'll give him that. Um, I I'd rather him score on me with a two like that than by, um, than by getting a three. Just because, with me, I don't know, we, um, especially with the guys that I'm playing with right now, none of us, besides that other guy, can shoot consistently. And when you're not able to shoot consistently, I'd rather just have them, you know, we have a two, a twos match going where we're just trying to see who can score the most twos instead of giving them threes because obviously threes are going to add up quicker than twos. Oh, like all this quarantine stuff, um, just try to do something productive. Like what I did is I cleaned my room, like I cleaned my car. I just tried to be as productive. Oh, please make that. You are garbage, bro. Kick out. Kick the ball out. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, he made it, but I was like, that guy on the red, we could have probably gotten a three there if he would have just kicked the ball out. Oh, we're getting that strip. There we go. Just hoping the center can take that and score. And now we are up eight to five. So we might be able to win this game. I know this game is going to be tough. It's not going to be easy is the thing. Like, I just blew that. He's not going to get out and help. He's making that. Like, I already knew. I, I got beat. I went for this steal and I missed. Um, so... That's the only issue, like, I always, I, I play too aggressively def defensively, like, I always try to go for steals that I shouldn't be going for, um, that is my one flaw in this game, um, I always, I always just kind of, he's, he's gonna make that, There's, he's creating that, yeah. This is the problem, I don't like playing with randoms because the communication is awful. See, look, we got it. We got him. Oh, I missed. I got completely shoved on the ground. And see, that's what I hate. Like, why does that happen? Like, why do I get completely, like, I get the defender jump, jumping. Like, I had him up in the air. I sh that should have been an easy score. Like, that's the thing. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that should have been a steal. No. But, um, what I'm trying to say is make sure you're doing something productive, whether it be cleaning your room, cleaning your house, you know, and, um, I mean, don't, I mean, you could binge watch something on Netflix or Hulu or do something like that, but... Um, I mean, I've watched a little bit of TV. I haven't been as productive with my YouTube and stuff. Dude, get out on that center, dude. He can shoot the ball. Like, I'm just trying to remain as positive as possible. Like, I know it's hard, but, like, today in Michigan, this was, like, the first day we've had sun in, like, a week. And this happens, like, so much in the winter. It, it's awful. Like, it, it that's why, that's why it kind of sucks living here. Like, in the, in the winter, you didn't grab the ball, bro. 
Um, in the winter, we don't get sun much at all. Like, we'll go weeks. Like, there was one time we didn't have three days of consecutive sunshine for... It was since June of 2018, so it was over a year and a half. Including the summer of 2019, where we didn't have sun for three days in a row. So, like, it's just... It's not fun. Like, it's... It... <laughs> Yeah, now he know now he knows I'm gonna do that every time. I probably could have double tapped him, but he just completely shoved me to the ground. I'm not expecting to win this game. Like, there's no way we're gonna win. This center is single-handedly like not playing well. Like, obviously, like his guy has 12 points. He's four for six on three. Is like, how haven't you decided to run out and contest that? Like, it's like you know he can shoot. Like you know he can shoot, and you're not. I'm like. I, I'll give them twos. I mean, we're not going to win. We're down 12 to 20. Like, it, it's just annoying. But what I wanted to get about this build, oh, of course, he's greeting that now. He's making his build. It's just one of these builds that, like, I feel like now it is, like, the build that everyone has. This is the build that I started out with this year. And I just, yeah, the lag kind of screwed me on that. Um, but it is, besides the point on the lag, I play, it didn't play very well. And you could attribute it to that. But... What I wanted to say with this build is it is just one of these builds that overall, like you're you're just able to score very easily. You can drive, you can finish, you can dribble the ball, you can pass the ball. Defend defensively, you're good. The only problem is obviously on centers. You cannot play that well in defense on a center just because the build is small. He's 6'5", and like if someone's 7'3", they're obviously going to be able to back you down. There's nothing you're able to do against that. In guard matchups, this build, you can't really stop it. Like another guard, like if they don't have a, a pure lock guard, um, there's most of the time, even if you have two two-ways, I've had this where I played against another two-way slasher, and it was just us two scoring on each other the whole time. Like, one of us could not stop the other one. The only problem is that I have realized is if you get, if you get like a very, very, very big, if you're playing park and you get like a, and you're going up against a team with a glass lock or a pier lock, um, a pier rim, or a pier rim protector or a glass or a rim protecting center that just stands in the paint with their hands up the whole time you're not able to do much because they know you're driving. So usually that time you're going to have to either shoot the ball or play more um, of a team play where you're trying to pass the ball more. Just because you most of the time you'll get some dunk animations, but not all the time. And sometimes you're not going to be able to finish just because they're bigger than you. Um, there's nothing you're able to do. I can show you guys what this build is looking like so far. Um, I don't have... Um, I didn't get the Gatorade Turbo, but I got 95 speed, 93 Excel, and we're at 95 overall. So if we were to have, we had a 99, it would be 99, 99 vertical, 99 stamina eventually, and I would probably roughly, if I, I didn't get the, the three boost on Excel either, so that would probably, I think it would be, it'd be a 98 or 97, um, and the strength doesn't really matter. Um, but the shooting stats too, you know, those would be higher as well if we did have this build a little bit higher overall. But I just feel like this build straight up, like, it is just one of these, like the steel, the defensive ratings are great. The spot that it struggles in is shooting. You're able to shoot with this build if you have a good jump shot. If you have a good jump shot and you know your jump shot, either with or without the meter, whatever you prefer really. I mix it around with both. I don't really have a preference to be honest. As long as you know your jump shot, I'd say you're fine. Passing is great. You know, you can throw lobs from pretty much anywhere. Like I've thrown multiple half court lobs and they're, they're fine, they're perfect. The only thing with this build, the only th suggestion I would make I don't shoot as much as I thought I was going to. I just, I'd rather win, to be honest, than put my team in a bad spot. But, because I, I really, I trust the jump shooting, but it's like, I'm not going to unless I'm wide open. I would have preferred if I would have done slashing or defending takeover over shot creating. At the time when I was making this, I was assuming, oh, pick shot creating, it'll help balance out your shooting. It does, but it's, more, it's harder to get the shot creating takeover. You obviously get things when you pass the ball, which is nice when you get assist and flashy passes dunks anything with um the shot creating takeover which is nice which is nice i really do like that but i feel like defending defending takeover slashing takeover i feel like slashing takeover is the mo it is the mo it's the takeover in the game that gets attributed to the most stats because you get um your all your um athletic stats get boosted as well and you get those crazy slashing takeover dunk animations you can still get some of them by being hot in the game with like i've gotten some of them with a shot creating takeover they just don't happen as as high as as many times and then for badges i again don't have all my shooting badges once we get all those though that definitely make this build a little bit better I want to leave dead eye on here and like catch and shoot you can use the thing is i don't know if honestly if catch and shoot is more of just a placebo like when if some if your point guard has dimer he passes you the ball you make the shot i don't know if placebo type thing if it actually works to be honest i really don't know i haven't tested it enough 
to know. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these badges. I will probably just put difficult shots because I mainly shoot runners. Um, maybe hot start, hot zone hunter, green machine. Probably dead eye up to silver too. We will see. The rest of them I haven't changed at all. This is what we're looking like for these. I might take tireless defender off and do pickpocket or trapper or, or interceptor or higher or chase on artist. Guys, this is what I feel like is the most OP build in this game, guard wise. The most toxic build in this game. Last year it was the pure locks. And this year, I think it is this two-way slashing playmaker, guys. But anyways, it's been King Clutch, you guys. Hopefully, you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. Everyone around you is good. Um, you know, be sure to, you know, check on people. Check on your homies. Check on your friends. Check on your family. Check on whoever you want. Make sure they're doing well. Anyways, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out, guys. Thanks.